What is going on, melon farmers, and happy flipping Easter here. DMAC back with a brand new episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro series for NHL 24. If you haven't already screwed, hit that like button. But in this one, the 14th place New York Rangers, who are outside of the playoffs, taking on the 11th place Islanders, the Battle of New York. We are fighting for our playoff lives. So Pavelski and Arvidsson get the goals in the simulation in the first period to make it 2-0 for the Rangers, and that is a lead that currently we are holding. We're on a power play right now with nine minutes to go in the second period. We are two for three on the power play, two goals on three shots. I will take that, and holy crap, it's a five. Okay. Okay. An elbowing major by Fifi Dobson. So we're stimly eight on ahead. There's a sim goal. I'm going to go throw. Oh, there's two sim goals. Oh, my goodness. So it's Braden Shen and Mika Zibanejad scoring on Ilya Sorokin to make it 4-0 for the Rangers. And we're now getting on the ice for our very first shift in this one. Sorokin tosses that one away. Alexander Romanov. I'll take that. I caught it. Yay. All right. So that one makes it back to Zibanejad. Here we go. Take the shot. Oh, that one goes through traffic. I think it hit something on the way, though. There's Brown. Ah, damn it. I think that's, Lo is that Logan Brown? Or is that, uh, what's his name? J J Justin Brown? I don't, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of Browns. There's Browns, there's Whites, there's, you know, a little bit of everything. <laughs> okay. Bring it in. I tried to get it across to Mika Zibanejad. It was no good, and JG Pajo is going to clear that one out. So here we go, approaching the end of our first shift as Pajot brings it, uh, tries to bring it out of the New York Islanders zone, and here is Braden Shen, walking right in, takes a shot off a leg, here we go, Brown, oh yeah, Breadman took that one away from him, and he's got like no juice left whatsoever, Jared Spurgeon, alright, you know what, I'm gonna go back, yeah, there we go, I was like, I'm gonna go back towards our zone, let's just get that one over to Shen, over to Spurgeon, want to feed up to Mika Zibanejad, oh, and he still got it, he lost it, damn it, alright, but get out of the way, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't want to take a penalty. Zibanejad not able to get that pass across. It lands in front, and Romanov is going to be able to get rid of it again. All right, here we go. We're on the ice, and Keandre Miller's got it. I'm, like, just wide open, just kind of hanging out. Why would you wait so long to get that pass across? All right, here we go. d -Mac. he swelled on me two times. Two times he swelled on me. Fifi Dobson, watch the stick, though. You don't want to end up tripping the guy. Romanov's got like no juice left, but he is able to get it up to Anders Lee, bringing that one in. And Foxy gets it back. He's got what, like 60-something points this year? All right, get that pass ahead. Oh, yeah, here we go, baby. Get around the D, take the shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we snipped her home. That is goal number 18. Pew. That's, that's what you like to see. That's just, that's beautiful. <laughs> 18th goal of the season, still got that Dallas Stars jersey on, Keandre Miller just feeds it down that left side, get around the defenseman, and oh yeah, it's beautiful, 5-0 for the New York Rangers. So just like that, we're back at center ice here at UBS Arena, looking like this one could be a runaway, and DMAC finally gets on the board in the first game, can we get it across, big shot, huge save, I, I'm going to throw it out there and assume that that's still Ilya Sorokin in the net, and here comes Adam Pellick. It's it over to Wheels. Oh my, what a save by Igor Shesterkin. You know what? I don't even want that. That was just a that was just a, a stick tap right there. That was an unbelievable save with nine seconds to go in the second. And we're off the ice. There's only nine seconds, so I'm going to throw it out there and say that it's kind of pointless to, uh, to sim. Well, there's eight seconds left. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to throw it out there and assume that it is pointless to simulate at this point. So we're just going to kind of like watch the last couple of seconds of this one. Saved by Shesterkin. And with 1.1 to go, there is another face-off. Maybe I should have just simulated ahead. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's just me, I guess. But we are still off the ice with one. Now it's one second. Man, the clock changes so much. It's bonkers bananas all right but we looked very solid so far in this game so put 20 minutes back on the clock as always here at ubs in new york as we attempt to just hold them off we're playing for Shesty at this point you know it's like we've already we basically already got this game licked we got her in the books he's gonna dump that one deep does not flip and matter we'll get that one around the net and there's adam fox foxy he was, it looked like, yeah, there you go. Okay, I was like, he, he's looking for Zibanejad, and he's just, like, not finding the opening that he likes. And there's Ebbs. Jordan Eberle playing with Islanders, not the Kraken. Wasn't that the team he came from, though? It was the, it was the Islanders, right? Okay, we get that one up to Artemi Panarin, and Bread can't do anything with that. I got Fox's uh, point. 
I was staying back at the blue line. Hopefully, the coach likes what I was just doing there because, yeah, I don't know. Oh, and now he wants to talk to me. We're in control. Don't let your foot off the pedal, but let's not get too fancy. The last thing we need is for them to get back in this game. I hear you, coach. I'll make sure we play smart and come away with the win, and I will won't let up on them. I'm telling you. I think I just realized how long I've actually been recording already, and it's like we're still like one minute into the third in the first game. So it's like, I don't know. I was actually considering doing a four gamer and just getting the season done, but I don't know if it's going to happen this time. We blocked a pass anyway. Barzy gets knocked around and we got it. There you go. Whip that thing up to the bread man and he can't hold on to it. Pellick takes it back. We're just staying. At, and I didn't even reach for that. Really? Really? And that one too. It's like, I'm not even reaching for it. Oh, all right. Come on, Fox. Gets that one over to Keandre Miller. Oh, it worked last time. Is it going to work this time? We're in, we're in, we're in. Backhander. Big save by Ilya Sorokin. Get it back to the point. Fox, that was my bad. That was a bad pass. It's okay, it's okay. I got you covered, buddy. We're making it in behind our own net. Whip that thing up the boards to Joe Pavelski. I think it's just about time we got off the ice. I'm telling you that much right about now. Offensive zone draw. Mika Zibanejad cannot win it back. Pollock is going to get that one up to Nelson. Brock Nelson. He's trying to enter our zone. It looks like he's going to be successful, but that one ends up with Pellick. And oh, a big save by Shesterkin, who stays down in that uh, like desperation save mode. I know, I'm kind of like running around the universe here all over the place. I got to I gotta get better for just watching my point. But it's, I don't know, man. It's, it's tough to do. All right, here we go. Panarin gets that one up to D to the measle. Oh, baby, he had his stick out. Take the shot. Nice save. They've only got, what, 20 shots? I think it was the Islanders that it was showing right there, right? They only have 20 shots in the game so far, and I think we've probably got way more than that at this point. Nelson? Okay, we held the line. Oh, we're all kinds of tied up here all along the boards. Pollock, boom! <laughs> Get out of town, buddy. All right, what do we got? Breadman, bringing that one back in. It's not going to work, though. Pollock? Oop, got that one ahead to Pajot, who goes through the neutral zone. He's just walking all the way in. Robbie Fabry with a shot. Easy blocker save. By Igor Shesterkin. Get out of my way, Palmieri. All right, here we go. We got her back yet again. What are we doing? Let's get her to the bread, man. Back to Miller. Keandre Miller, that shot doesn't make it through, and Romanov is going to be able to get rid of that one. The perpetual offside warning is happening, man. We got 9.13 to go in this game. The Islanders are attempting to put on some pressure. They're not really having too much luck with it, though. But here we go. Go, Igor Shesterkin, tied for, I don't know, what, he, what would he be tied for? Fifth in shutouts in the National Hockey League with just three. I'm pretty sure I saw Dustin Wolf's name up there. <laughs> Vazzy, obviously number one, because these games think that Vasilevsky's the greatest thing since frickin' sliced bread. With Brady Skajay into the zone. All right, just get it back to me. We're going to curl around, get it back to Shea. Don't take the shot or anything. That'd be silly, wouldn't it? Zibanejad. Oh, yeah, baby. Second of the night for Mika Zibanejad makes it six to nothing for the Rangers in a much needed win. We need every point we can possibly get. And that is his 31st of the season. And if I remember correctly, D to the Measle only signed a one year deal with the Rangers. I don't know, man. It's like there's there's a good chance because I was looking at the standings. We've got some games left. But, like, I don't even know if we're going to make the playoffs. With the stacked team that we have, I honestly think, like, I'm pretty sure we're, like, sixth in our division or something. Even though we're, like, ten games above 500, we're, like, sixth. Like, this division is bonkers. Like, the last place team is, like, three games above 500. <laughs> and I just took penalty. So you want to make it worth it? Let's go, buddy. Me and Adam Pellick about to make that penalty worth it. Let's go. Let's go. Get him tied. No, no, we're just dodging him. Oh, dodge him. Throw the punch. Nope. Dodge. Throw the punch. Nope. Come on. Throw another one. Boom. Okay, we finally hit him. No. Boom. Okay, we'll hit him again. Uh, nobody's doing nothing. Oh, I missed him. All right, come on. Miss. Damn it, miss. Is this going to be one of those fights that takes like 10 days to get through? Boom. Uppercut. There we go. Can we get him hooked now? Can we get him hooked now? I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. We're just going to have to knock him. No, I didn't want to judo toss him. I wanted to knock his block off. Uh, now we're just sliding around. Oh, because physics. Uh, regardless, we are taking out the trash because it's garbage day. I like it. And because we have that two minutes already, uh, I'm going to throw it out there. Because I'm pretty sure there's like eight minutes to go in the game, something like that. Uh, I'm going to throw it out there and say that this game's probably over. Yeah, there's 8.05 left. We got seven minutes in penalty minutes. Thinking this game might be over. 
And, ah, oh, damn it. Yes, the game is over, but they did get one back. So Shesterkin loses the shutout. Still had a great game. Now, that game took a very long time to get through. Let's do another one. All right, so we jump into this one with a 1-1 tie around the halfway point of the game. Ottawa is actually doing quite a bit better than we are. We are 39-30 and like five or four. I think it's five. I'm not 100% sure. There comes Thomas Shabbat, baby. Gets that one in front of Shane Pinto. He can't get the shot off, and that one's kicked out. Shesterkin in the net yet again. Gets it up to Mika Zibetta. Get the hell out of my way, Keandre Miller. Oh, 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 oh. That was a nice chance. We got it back, though. Can we get it to Mika Zibanejad? No, it doesn't make it to him. Backhands it to nowhere. Uh, can I get around the net? Thank you. All right, here we go. Right up, ah, right up in front. Did we hold on to it? Kind of not really. Oh, my God. The way that players just, like, get right in your way constantly, it's, like, literally all the time. And here comes Frank the Tank, man. Frankie V. Brings that one in behind the net. I'm going to have to watch my point guy. Oh, my God, Jake Sanderson. And Shesterkin had to come up big on that one. That was my bad. I totally, like, abandoned my point, and that was not great. And I'm already off the ice. And look at that. Even Corpus Allo is doing better than Shesterkin. Shesterkin had a very down year in real life and in this game. But in real life, Shesty is, like, really pulling it together. The Rangers are kind of a juggernaut. So, <laughs> oh, Mika, what a steal. Gets it back to the bread, man. Oh, I couldn't hold on to it. And de get out of the way! Oh, my goodness. Daniel Sprung gets it to Timmy Stutz. Timmy Stutz loses that one. Adam Fox trying to get this thing out of his own zone, and it's like there's just so many jerseys everywhere. That one up to D-Mac. Just wire it. Uh, I don't know if Corpus Allo got a piece of that one or not. I'm not 100% sure, but there's 4-10 left in this second period of the second game. Nice feed. Nice feed. Uh, we're just going to get that one over to Brad. And he can't get it deep. Or can he? No, he's going to give it to Brady Kachuk of all the, of all the stupid things to do. Spronger, bring it, oh, Spurgeon, get it the hell out of the way. Like, what are you doing? Sanderson, that one doesn't make it through. Okay, so we're backing off, backing off, backing off. My daddy taught me good. All right, Claude Giroux gets it in front. Big shot, easy save for Shesterkin, who's going to cover that one up. And I don't know, man, like that could honestly, that, that could kill the second period. We very well could be off, yes, we're off the ice. <laughs> so we're simming on ahead. I'm assuming the second period's probably over now. No, there's 17 seconds to go, so I might as well just keep on keeping on when it comes to talking words and stuff. There comes Mika. Over to Panarin. That was a backhander that didn't work. Shabbat having a little trouble behind his own net. Oh, he, I thought he was going to kick it past. Uh, I think that's Ridley Grigg. I thought he was going to kick it past him, but we continue to be tied at one after two periods of play. Let's win this damn thing. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock, as always, here at the Crappy Tire Center in Canada, Ontario. It's still in Canada, right? I don't know. It's been a while. But, uh, yeah. So, I, I, we really desperately need a win here. It sucks that DMAC has only played, like, 44 games this season with the Rangers. This would be the 45th game that we played with the Rangers. We're already 75 games into the season. We had that massive injury. Boom! Shabbat takes a bit of a hit. Uh, can we get that thing back? That's a slash. You can't be doing that, buddy. All right, so 35 seconds into the third period, the Ottawa Senators essentially just lost their best defenseman for two minutes or less. Hopefully less. Let's, like, let's start pulling away with this thing. Adam Fox has 61 points in 75 games. I ain't going to say nothing about that. And yes! Tavo Teravainen puts it past Eunice Corpusalo to make it 2-1 to one for the Rangers. Oh, baby. Here we go. Brady. Brady. Can't really do nothing. Ooh, Shesterkin with a nice stop. I called for that, Foxy. All right, here comes Panarin through the neutral zone, getting into the Ottawa territory, and he's going to hold on to it right out in front. Whoop out. Nice shot and a big save by Corpy. We're going to get in front of that net. Oh, get out of the way. No, I'm going to have to try and, like, don't, don't kick it anywhere. Like, that'd be silly, wouldn't it? That just wouldn't even make any sense. <laughs> oh, running into people makes me homicidal. Panarin with a huge rebound and a big save by Corpy on that one. We saying, buddy, we're in a close game. We can't let them back in the game. Time to shut the game. Don't game about it, coach. They're, they aren't gaming back in the game. Gamity game, game, game. Burn? <laughs> oh, gotta love Jim Varney. All right, here we go. We got an offensive zone faceoff. Here in this second game of the video, Philip Heedle 
moving up the leaderboard for the New York Rangers. I'm pretty sure he is like our third line center or maybe even fourth line. I can't remember what the fourth line center was. I know like Lafreniere is like on the fourth line or Lafreniere, Lafreniere. I never actually learned how to like properly say it. It's like Alexi Lafreniere or Laf Lafreniere, Lafreniere. <laughs> Oh, I used to get applauded so much for my ability to just, like, remember every name and, like, pronounce names properly. And then it's, like, the simplest ones. I'm like, I got nothing, man. I got nothing. D-Mac walks in, takes the hit. We got to get off the ice, though. We, we're, like, far too dead. I'm going to stand still, try and get a little juice back. It's not going to work. So we're going to get out of here, man. Five minutes into the third, it's 2-1 to one for the Rangers. But here comes Ordawar. They're, they're one of those sneaky teams, man. They're one of those sneaky-ass teams where, it, like, it doesn't matter. You can you can be up 4 nothing on them, and then all of a sudden they'll just get this, like, burst of offense where they'll just score a ton of goals. They put me on really quickly, and I still got, like, no juice left. So here we go, Mika. Oh, what a feed to Panarin. He is, like, no. I was like, he's all alone. They have defenders back, but I figured that was going to be a gift. Panarin yet again behind the net, but he loses that one. Panarin with a backhander and a big save by Corpus Allo. And now Travis Hamannick, he's got to try and clear that one out with all three of his teeth. All right, here we go. D to the Measel. Brings it into the zone. Uh, let's whip it around the net. Oh, Panarin got there fast, and there's Mika's advantage at. I probably just peeked the hell out of the microphone. Let's just get it through traffic. That didn't work. All right, we're in front. I'm trying to get in front. I'm just trying to screen this goaltender. What a passing play, Panarin. What a goal. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at the kick. 34th of the season for Artemi Panarin, who gives us the 3-1 to one lead with not a lot of time left. There's 7 minutes and 12 seconds left in this game. What a gorgeous passing play. And I'm really surprised it actually made it past that broken stick. Broken sticks in these games are like the bane of your existence. Skating, puck controlling, doesn't matter what. If there's a broken stick on the ice, you bet someone's going to run into it blindly. And stupidly, we got that pass back. What do we got? And let's whip that one around the net again. And DMAC has taken some damn abuse here. I'm just going to try and get in front of this net. Try and screen this goaltender. Oh, yeah, we got the rebound. We got the rebound. We almost got the next rebound as well. But Hamannick is going to be able to clear that one out of his own zone. Drake the Snake Batherson. Drake the Snake take a Batherson. Ends up bringing that one in. Fox is getting knocked around big time by Drake Batherson, who gets it out in front. Hamannick. Oh, no, buddy. Horrible. Horrible passing. What are you guys... What are you thinking, Josh Norris? We'll get that one over to Kreider. Kreider gets it back to DMAC. Bad angle shot. That had, like, no hope of going in, but we're kind of trying to hold on to it. Get it back to the point. Fox, that, again, that was a suey. That was a bad pass, and that's my fault. Take a Batherson. Is it up to Josh Norris? Norris getting tied up along the boards. Kreider's going to pull it away, and I got to get out of here. But Kreider, can you do something with it? No, you can't. You can bounce it off Shabbat's skate and then immediately lose control of it. Damn you. 5.19 to go. What are we down to? Uh-oh. We got a sim goal. We got a sim goal. Ah, Jesus. It's Claude Giroux on the power play. It's 3-2. Back within one. I never lied. It's a bad omen, man. Kachuk looking for somewhere to go. Whoa, that was a little too close for comfort. Let's get rid of this damn thing. Let's go, buddy. I'm with you, Panarin. Nice feed. Nice feed. Uh, just whip that one on it. Ah, we were, we missed on the near side. Stillman, boom, get knocked off this thing, buddy. Panarin, eh, we're trying to get back around behind the net, and Stillman is going to get it up to Brady Kachuk, the Braidster, as uh, Gilbert Godfrey would call him, Takachuk. And, oh, Stutz is in. Boom, big one-timer. That one doesn't make it through. Gets kind of partially blocked. Brandstrom, he's doing ninja moves. Back to Sprong. Uh, what? Oh, no! Oh, as if they tied the damn game at three. That was garbage. Now, as far as I can tell, there was no screen in front of the net. 17th of the year for Daniel Sprong. Look at this. Nary a screen to be found. Shesty, I've seen you make some redonkulous saves. How do you let that go? That's terrible. That's terrible. Like, that's like an unforgivable goal. I cannot forgive that goal. That was awful. And now it's a tie freaking game with like a minute and a half to go. Comes Ottawa kind of putting the pressure on us right now. Let's just whip this thing around the net. And, oh, my God, I was going to say, please tell me Tabo's at least going to... Oh, I took a nasty hit. Okay, we got up. We got up. That's all that matters. We actually got up. Okay, there's 40 seconds to go. Fox, I got no juice, so don't pass to me. What are you thinking, man? All right, all right. Final 30 seconds. I got to get off the ice. I do not want to risk getting injured like 75 games into the season. 
Because then it's like guaranteed we're not going to make the playoffs. And guaranteed DMAC will be hurt for like 35 games again. And what will be out until next year, which is garbage. Oh, but it looks like against the Sens, we are going to overtime. This might just be a two-gamer. All righty, so put five minutes back on the clock for sudden beef overtime here. Mika Zibanejad taking the face off, and he is not going to win it. So one of the main things for uh, overtime is play good defense and get gone. Get gone. Get it back to him. Oh, Fox, he's all by his lonesome. Look at this. All oh, backhand. Why would you go for the backhander there, man? Oh, we stole it away. Okay, okay, okay. Go to the backhand. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm giving him hell for going to the backhand. Then I do it. Oh, nice deflection. Big save by Corpy. And Shabbat is just trying, to, just desperately trying to find a way to get out of his own zone. We almost took it off of Kachuk. And now here they come. Timmy Stutz brings it down. I got Kachuk. I'm watching him, man. He ain't doing nothing. Zibanejad. Oh, I'm gone. I'm gone, buddy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's go backhand. Forehand. Oh, I think I lost control of it. Did he poke check me? Oh, damn it. Okay, now we, me and I think that's Mika. Oh, it's a 2 on 0 And now I'm getting stuck on my own guy. Big save by Shesterkin and another takeaway. Let's get gone. Let's get gone. Can I get around Giroux? I got, like, no juice, man. No juice. <laughs> Try to get it across to Adam Fox, but, of course, like an idiot, he's got to stop skating. Oh, it's like we had an easy... An Easy freaking cross creaser right there. Shabbat walks in. Big shot. Huge save. It's loose in front. Oh, no. Fox can't get there. Kachuk. Will you try and make a pass? I don't think it's going to work, buddy. Here we go, Shabbat. I have not cut a second out of this overtime. I have also not gotten off the ice. This is a very long shift, and we took it back. Do I even have enough juice to make it down the ice? Oh, no. Giroux is catching me so easy. I tried to make a pass, and it didn't work, and now they got another breakaway. And it's Danny Sprung. It's not a breakaway. Fox got back real fast. Oh, my goodness. All right, just got enough uh, stick interference in there. Can we, like, uh, can I have control of my player again? That would be, like, almost too awesome. Oh, man. We were just on the ice for, like, the majority of that uh, that overtime. Long sh They long shifted me. Okay, so we're simming ahead. Looks like we're going to a shootout, and I believe DMAC is actually the number one shooter. Oh, yay, we got that glitch. That's fun. But yeah, I'm pretty sure DMAC's the number one shooter for the Rangers now. All right, so let's do this shootout thing. We got the NHL symbol. Oh, but it's on the other side, so that's good. DMAC, number one shooter for the New York Rangers. We'll go backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand. Oh, and Corpus Allo. Man, he just, he followed me the whole way. What do they got? Tim Stutzla. It's going to be hard to see. Nice save by Shesterkin. Okay, so that that makes up for me not scoring there. We got Breadman here. Come on, let's get something going, Bread. Walks it. He went slowly, too, and Corpus Allo fumbled that one but did eventually make the save. Now here comes Brady, the Braidster. Oh, nice save by Shesterkin yet again. Okay, okay, so goalies have been hot in this one. Not in the actual game. It was a 3-3 tie, but... Adam Fox can't get her done. Corpus Allo stands strong again. The controller is down because my part is officially done. But I'm like I said, I'm looking at the length of this going like, I think we're just doing a two-gamer. It's Easter. Be with your families. Jesus. If you don't have a family, like that's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, that was in. That was in the net. That's Bologna. That is some fried Bologna right there. Now they're saved by Shesty. This should be like over. This should be over right now because it hit Corpus Allo. He made the save, but then it bounced like it trickled through him and it went in the net. So it's like that is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. They were still like just locked at nothing. But Ottawa Norris has the game on his stick and a big save by Shesterkin. Oh, and I guess we're going to keep going. What are we in like round six now? Something like that. Who's uh, who's number 96 or 86? Oh, yeah, it's Tavo. OK, I'm like I do like this. I don't know the people, their numbers and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Sanderson, nice save by Shesty. He actually did a little toad rizzy, but it did not work. So now we got Vicky Arvidsson. There he goes. Man, does he ever have wheels, though. Did you see that weird, like, push-off thing he did? It's like his speed went from 80 to, like, 95 in one second. <laughs> Thomas Shabbat with the game on his stick runs the goalie, but it does not go in. So we're moving on to Jared Spurgeon. Okay, I'm learning. <laughs> and an easy glove. For Corvus Allo, man, this is going to go on for days, isn't it? Number 26. Wish I could have that. Oh, my. Eric Brandstrom hits the goalpost. Ugh. 
But yeah, that's the problem. It's like it's been a hundred years and they still haven't fixed this. Vinny Trocek scores. Okay, 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 okay. We we can do this. All you all we need is a save. That's all we need. Just a save. Oh, come, that was garbage. Come on, man. Like I said before, man, it's like after some of the saves I've seen you make, was this Tommy Novak? And then he walks in and roofs it. It was Tommy Novak. Hey, I guess I do know my own teammates relatively. 69 is, uh, what is it, like Tanner Pearson or something? And he scores! It was Tanner Pearson. Why do I know their team better than my own? <laughs> uh, I can't even see your number. I think it's Kreider. Kreider, there's a save. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Man. Ridley Grieg, or Greg, 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 Grieg, Greig. I don't know. I, that's another one. I was never actually positive on how to pronounce his name. Philip Scheitel brings that one down. Another save by Corpusallo, so we continue on. Game on his stick. It's Shane Pinto bringing that one down. Nice stop by Shasti. And we're in, like, round 12 now. So who do we got here? Alexi Lafreniere. 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 <laughs> Game on his stick yet again. Oh, no. It's Jakob Silverberg putting her home for the game flipping winner. That, that shootout went far too long. I'm over it. I'm done with it. Ottawa wins. At least we got a point. But again, I'm not even really 100% sure we're going to make the playoffs this year. So we may have to do a poll, like, very soon to figure it. Because in the next episode, we're finishing the regular season. And we'll just see, like, are we making the playoffs? Are we going to miss the playoffs? Should we stay in New York? Should we go somewhere else? You know, it's just one of those things, man. Anyway, happy Easter yet again. Uh, that's going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.